Welcome back to the Duck Call Room. Ladies and gentlemen, we have special guest with us this week. Jep yep. and Jessica yeah. are yeah. in the hot seat. Hot seat. Yeah. I don't know if it's a hot seat. So look, not, but hey. since I hadn't seen y'all, you know, what have y'all been up to? <laughs> Oh, yeah. So when I say that, Cy, we, just for clarity, uh, you are on a TV show with them. So. Well, no, no, uh, I'm not. I'm just, didn't we film together Saturday? I just sat beside you <laughs> in the podcast. Well, no, but I, you, know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, in real right? life, we yeah, actually life. lived true. together for about five years. Okay, filming. Okay, like, there you go. True. There it's you true. go. Well, I, I mean, I'm sure. I mean. We, we moved to Texas for five years, and we just moved back this past June. So we haven't been back long. And uh, really, I was so looking forward to being back in Louisiana and having like a slower-paced life than Austin. And it's not slower-paced here for me. I thought I'd have all this time on my hands, and I don't. What about you, babe? Well, have you got your own business? I do. I have a, a quarterly subscription box called Genuine by Jess, okay. and um, I carry products that, you know, basically that have uh, companies from give back companies, uh, women owned companies, and small family um, businesses. So I like to just kind of um, do like little collections and kind of feature other brands, other people's products that have a good mission behind it. Hey, and let me tell you something about those boxes. I, you know, whatever. I'm not really involved. I've helped like package them and stuff. She but she had these blankets in there. They are the best blanket in the world. It's true. Big there blanket go, guy. Oh, Big blanket guy. Oh, got to have it. It's I'm a, not a blanket Let guy. me say this. Oh, it's a not. leopard print furry blanket. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's a, it red. sounds hot. Oh, it's <laughs> right, hot. It sounds hot. hot. You got me? You got me already. Yeah. Hey, friend. you now, be curled up watching yeah. Law and Order. You yeah. have this blanket on. Now, Rumpelstiltskin oh. over here, yeah, he need a blanket. Yeah. All he yeah. does is Oh, sleep, yeah. So. Oh, I'm going to get you one. No, no, because, hey, if it gets me you know, the other day, speaking of that, okay, <laughs> I was just, I was like, what in a good grief? I'm freezing to death and I'm on my, in my own house. I said, woman, you got the heat turned off? And she said, no. You know, and I said, well, what's the temperature in it? She said, 52. What? I said, no wonder I'm freezing my butt off. I said, turn the heat on, woman. Great, what are you doing? No, man, March 1st, you turn the heat off. It no, don't come back on. No, you don't. If it gets below 60, hey, I need a coat. Hey, it's cold right now. So. Yeah. Hey, it was 27. I, I, I ain't got all this insulation. Hey, pipe down, so. Hey, hey. Yeah. I'm going to sit back across from you if you're going to pick hey, on me. This is, hey, this is skin and bone, dear boy. Oh. Hey, speaking of, I've lost about 12 pounds, and I'm going to tell you why I did it. The, it wasn't health reasons, although I do feel better. It wasn't anything like that. It wasn't anything. Like, I think Jess liked me kind of husky. Here's Fluffy. what ha here's what it happened. It was just more to love. No, like here's what happened. Why I, here's why I lost the weight is because I kept going through airports and I'd say I'd hear, "Hey, Willie." Oh, and I was like, uh, "True story." Nope, oh. I am not. I, oh. I am losing oh. weight immediately. Okay, oh. I was just excited. I was talking about that the other day. My well, wife. good news is that meant you still had skinny legs. True, no, no. I, still, I got those. <laughs> I got this. My wife is, is going through the TV and slashing stuff and finding a new channel. Well, she found a new Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And she said, you got to see this. Yo, so I'm sitting in my recliner. She said, let me find it. So she's going, brings up Star Trek, new, you know, exploring, yeah. unknown, all this. You know. She said, wait till you see this guy. Yo, know? and so she brings him on and says, it's Willie, and he's about 50 pounds overweight. Okay, and he's got real, real long hair. But it's Willie all the way. And I said, I got to tell Willie this. I said, I just seen you on Star Trek. And he went, what? I said, yeah, I watched you on Star Trek. You know, <laughs> just, be just before I come up here to play poker with you, I watched you on Star Trek. I said, you're about 50 pounds heavier and your hair is about three times longer than what it normally is. I said, but it's you. It's the old Willie. Oh, yeah, because it looks just like It's his like doppelganger. It. Yeah, looks just like it. It's Willie yeah. when I started working here, Dave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. But I was wondering, you, uh, how did you lose the weight? Uh, I mean, just not eating so much. And honestly, beer. I love beer. I was craft beer. Hey, beer is fat. Well, we did. But if you're Texas. not really, you know, if you're not drinking in excess of it and you're just having some every night like 
really all it's doing is just a bunch of calories that are just yeah, so wasted. This is wasted. just an occasional yeah. beer, like a six pack. Let, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is not just a normal yeah. night. Yeah. yeah. I, just I'm just saying. Night. What do you have? Oh, well, just a couple no, of six no, packs. No, so no, a six no pack. he ain't drinking Bush Light. So. No. No, no he, these are like crap. You drink that, a six pack of Bush Light and lose weight. I, yeah. I will so. say in Texas, they have some of the best <laughs> craft beer. It. And it, even here in Louisiana, I mean, since I moved back, I was like, dang, we got a, some good beer here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I just had to give it up for a while. Yeah, I was I'm like, a Michelob. Oh. Ultra light Michelob. Yeah, see, I would rather have four extra strips of bacon. No. Yeah, that's, that's kind of where weird. I'm at. Yeah. There yeah, ain't I'm, nothing I'm, better not than ice. Yeah, I, I just would. No, like. there ain't nothing better than a ice cold Michelo light. All right, y'all need, need to get paid. That is for not Michelob. this section. I would be oh, choosing a way better tasting beer than that. A, that is not no, craft no, beer. No, yeah. No, no. B, it's really close to water. <laughs> Thank you. And I mean, I, I've had <laughs> them. They're not bad, but those are for people that like to pee. That's what the, that's what Michelob well, is for. Well, for a guy that drinks two gallons of tea. Yeah, yeah. I think he yeah. does. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm I'll saying. That, like, I guess I'll fit that. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that you that would story. get the same satisfaction from an ice cold Coca Cola. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it just. Yeah. I mean, you have been drunk on Mountain Dew before, so like. Well, that's how it's true. See, hey, <laughs> look, if you stay up fifty four hours, you uh, fifty four hours studying and drink about three cases of. Pepsi, Coke, Mountain Dew, Seven Up, yeah, and that's how many Michelob yeah, Ultras hey, it would you take got too. Drunk oh on no, that? oh yeah, you no, put yeah. I was on that. a sugar blitz. I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, you didn't have something mixed in there? Uh, nope, no. Nope. It was just Coke and and Mountain Dew and Seven Up. Why yeah. were you up for fifty four hours straight? That's the well, real question. Well, my brother's got uh, look. Uh, I went to college. <laughs> you know, I tried it. <laughs> <laughs> and I had three older brothers. I'm not John David, the, so I can't chase you time. with the mic. At the time, it was four of us in there. Yeah. Well, you know, like I told everybody, hey, I majored in in partying and minored in women. Okay. So look, mm -hmm. I didn't go to class much. But no. anyway, they got on me, and and I mean, like, hey, they threw a saddle, got their spurs on. And they rode me like a yard dog. Tell me, no, you just too dumb. You, you can't pay. Well, it made me mad. Well, it's, this is a week of finals. I ain't been to class about six times total for the whole semester. <laughs> you know, so, you know, a buddy of mine, okay, he was flunking out too. He said, hey, you know all the women. Can you borrow their notes and can we study? And he said, because if I, if I don't pass, my dad's going to kill me. He said, I know you don't care. You ain't coming back. I said, you're right there. Mm -hmm. So, look, that's what we did. We studied for 54 hours. The last test I was taking, <clears throat> all I remember was I was asleep, just sound asleep, and the professor's going, hey, you got 100 questions to answer, and, and you ain't got but 10 minutes. And I said, well, I picked up a pen, and I said, well, mm -hmm. I said, I'm glad it's multiple choice. <laughs> and I just started going down. Just, Did you hey. like draw a Christmas tree yeah. or something? Oh, yeah. No, no. Just, hey, just A, A, C, C, C. C is always a good answer on, yeah. on multiple questions. Yeah. yeah. It is so, the look, most common answer. Nancy worked in the registrar's office, so she saw all the grades. Well, she saw my grade. And, look, I had gave her, like, $150. Hey, you know, since y'all been feeding me all semester, here, go buy a bunch of steaks and Tommy can grill them and we'll have a good party. Yeah. Yeah. So I get there early, knock on the door, and she looks to the people and she's just giving me what's for. Have you looked, checked your grades? And I said, No, Nancy, I didn't check my grades. I don't care about my grades because I ain't coming back. I'm done. You know, she said, Yeah, you're going to get drafted and you're going to go to Vietnam. I said, Well, that's probably true, but hey, yeah. I don't really care because I ain't coming back to Louisiana Tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, she just chewed me up down. I said, are you going to open the door and let me in? So she finally lets me in and then sets me down and just chewing my butt up one side down the other. Go check your grades. I said, Nancy, I don't care about my grades. She said, well, hey, just so you know, you passed. You know, and I said, really? I said, well, what did I? She said, you missed having an A average by like, like two points. <laughs> you know, and I said, hey, well, I said, that was just for That sounds me. like 95%. Yeah, no, no, science so, fiction. <laughs> no, no. So I, I told her, I said, will you do me a favor when your husband and my other two brothers arrive 
to eat the steak? She said, what's that? I said, tell them it ain't got nothing to do with my brain power. I just am not going to college. Okay. You know, she said, yeah, I can do that for you. I said, okay. Yeah. So when she did, she jumped on them both feet. Told me, hey, it ain't because you ain't stupid. Well, you should have yeah. fed them crow. Huh? Well, hey. They had to eat it. <laughs> no, nah, I needed to kick them off in the butt and throw them out of their own house. That'd have been yeah. a little aggressive, that's but it. especially hey. with you being the smallest that's of them. Right. I, well, I don't hey, think they that's had, where I'd have started. Hey, if but. I'd have done that, hey, they had it coming. Uh, they picked uh, on me all my whole life. Oh, oh, poor son. Well, let's take our first break, right. and we'll be back right after this. Right after this minute. Martin. What? You know what always excites me? What? Whenever we get a new sponsor... Yeah. That I know about and I've used before and I'm already a fan of. That's wild. Because when my when my yard guy, he was like, hey, I'm going to cut down this tree. Miscommunication on the tree. Uh -oh. Right. Uh -oh. Wrong one. Wrong one. So Wrong I, one. I was like, you know what I need? A tree that will grow fast. Where'd you get it? Fastgrowingtrees.com. And I got this awesome maple tree. Well, then all of a sudden, Beth texted us the other day, hey, Fast Growing Trees is going to be a sponsor. I was like, perfect. I've already used them and I liked it. It's a beautiful tree, and it was easy. It just shows up at your house. You get syrup out of it? Not yet. Uh, can but I, it's growing fast. I'll can, tell I you that tell you, can I tell you how fast Fast Growing Trees gets it there? They get it so fast that the FedEx truck driver's in such a hurry, he takes off with his door open, your trees fall out in the middle of the road, and the Washtenaw Parish Sheriff's Department deliver your trees personally to your house. Is that what happened? That's what happened to me. <laughs> That's how fast that they got there. They wanted them there. They had a police wow. escort. My two persimmon trees had a police escort to my house. You got persimmon trees now? Uh -huh. I did. In your house, she wants all these fruit trees, and, and so she just went to that section, boom, started picking out the stuff she liked, saw, okay, this will grow here in West Monroe, boom, got that. It was super easy. You, you were fine. Anything you want, and some stuff that you didn't know you want, but now you want it now that yeah. you know about it. You know what Allison just got from Fast Going Trees? What? A banana tree. Banana. That's pretty cool. Well, banana. you can get whatever you want. Now, they'll suggest, like, yeah. hey, it ain't going to grow there that great, but we might have bananas anytime soon. Well, see, look, mine, I got, I wanted to get- Bananas uh, are good for I wanted potassium. to get a fruiting tree for my two fruits at the house, my little boys. So now, like, we took a picture the other day in front of it. I got the date on my phone. Next year, same day, we're going to take a picture in front of it. Brilliant. Fastgrowingtrees.com's plant experts curate thousands of easy-to-grow plant, shrub, and tree varieties for your unique climate. Meyer lemons to evergreens and everything in between. And that's a true statement because when they said pick out a couple – I got lost in there. There's stuff I ain't ever even heard of. And they I considered my, I took plant systematics in college. There's a lot of plants in this world. I thought I knew a bunch of them. No, I don't know none of them. But mm. happy plants, happy home. Look, do whatever you want to with them. It's a great time in life in the world to give back. Plant a tree. I got some strawberry bushes coming next. Oh. Do you really? Mm -hmm. You're going you gonna to be a whole regulation <laughs> orchard over there. That's what my wife wants to do. With. Hey. Hey, she can get back on that farm life. She's That's trying good. to grow her a fruit cup from Chick-fil-A. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can shop plants by state or use the plant finder. Just answer a few quick questions about where you live and what you're looking for, and they'll recommend the best options for your home or landscape. No more waiting in long lines and hauling heavy plants around. With FastGrowingTrees.com, you order online and your plants arrive at your door in just a few days. And with Fast Growing Trees 30-Day Alive and Thrive Guarantee, you know everything will look great fresh out of the box. Join over 1.5 million happy Fast Growing Trees customers. Go to FastGrowingTrees.com slash duck right now to get 15% off your entire order. Get 15% off at FastGrowingTrees.com slash duck. All right, we're back. <laughs> All right, Martin, I got to ask, what's with the... Uh... The W sauce. Well, the W sauce. That's an interesting one. It makes everything better for man, one. Man, we had a man on the show, on the podcast. Yeah. For W? Yeah. No, he ain't been here. I thought we had him on. No, here. man, Big Bear ain't been here oh. yet. I want him to. Look, no, actually, what happened, W sauce? Family recipe. They're fishing guides originally in Key West. So when that happened, everybody quit traveling. They had to make some income. They decided to bottle the family recipe. And uh, what you got was a W sauce. You tried it? It's good? Oh, my God. But is it Have different than that it? sauce? Cause it's that one's hot there. Oh, okay. That one's called Fireshire. This one is just the OG right here. And now they're making all kinds of stuff. They're making, like, Bloody Mary mix and all oh. kinds of. You As a eat. parting gift, do we get some W sauce? You can take it home with you. Yeah. 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 You can take it home with you. You can go to, a you can go to Academy and buy some. They got it in Academy now, yeah. Well, I need Finally. that one. I don't want the hot one because I use a lot of Worcestershire in my beef stew but the heat heat doesn't does it hurt your belly or something no it doesn't hurt mine but uh, i just don't i, I don't want to like 
risk a big pot of beef stew and then I got you. especially Her with Kay usually she knows. oh there you go so yeah. do you remember mom used to make that stew that beef stew mm -hmm. y'all remember that right oh yeah so Je Jessica took that and improved 1,000 fold Did she get rid of all the carrots nope no. still oh. has carrots dang no. Just cut them up smaller. That'd be a good way to get rid. That'd yeah, be a good way to improve. Just cover it, cut, you know, cut them up smaller. So no, look, this is that. Well, I basically combined two recipes. I combined Julia Styles beef bourguignon and then another beef stew recipe, and I kind of just made it my own. But I only use filet mignon in it. Yeah. Um, that always helps. Yeah. And I do per person. I'll, I'll get Choice. one filet per person, so yeah. it is hearty. Choice. 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 It's like Lucky Charms. Yeah. George, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. found a new herb. It's like oregano, but you know how oregano can get kind of strong. Uh -huh. It's yeah. called majorum. It I is the best majorum. like it? herb ever. It's like a yeah. not as strong oregano. It's it's so good. It has several. It has oregano in it. It has several different herbs in it. But I will use almost an entire bottle in my beef stew. Okay. Because that that's what I make for my meat sauce. Yeah, is it's all. Just herbs. Yeah. Do you use and filet? If, uh, uh, Do you use filet? No, it's hamburger meat. Yeah, wrong tax bracket, yeah. Edward. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we get it. Well, no, no, it's not the like no, no, expensive the filets hey, either. you brought that up, that might be a good thing. Hey, just tell a guy, hey, grind me up a bunch of filet hamburger meat. No, you don't mm. grind it up. You want chocolate. No, no, no. <laughs> well, no, no. No, no. If you want meat sauce, it's got to be ground up. Oh, uh, the meat oh, sauce, like yeah. a spaghetti sauce? Yeah. Look, yeah. don't yeah. invite Cy yeah. for that beef yeah. stew because you're going to come over there ain't going to be no beef left in it. <laughs> I, did, same, I knew that too. That's the same well, thing uh, he does to a pot of beans. Yeah. He goes there and dig every piece of sausage out, and you ain't got nothing left but red beans. He's, <laughs> a, boy, he's hey. a cherry picker from way <laughs> back. I knew hey. that too. I was oh, hey. 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 That must be a youngest trait. Yeah, that, that, that must be. Yeah, there we go. You got to get to meat when you can. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's it, boys. Hey. Youngest, youngest. Okay, yeah, we're getting it now. Now Gus gonna be that way. You gonna uh, train? You gonna train Gus to be that he way? He loves That's terrible. some fillet, doesn't he? That he does. boy can eat. That boy can eat. He eats more than I do. Who's that? Gus. Gus. Oh, okay. Oh, for breakfast, he'll well, eat like three or four eggs. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, but he's only seven. I know, but he's a growing yeah. big boy. But he's playing he's the size baseball of a now. That's a, we got a game tomorrow night, right? Tonight. Tonight. Oh, it's tonight. He's playing baseball? He is. It's what his position? First year. Well, it's his first year. Uh, it's I mean, coach you know, wherever. He just kind of. Yeah, he doesn't know rover. what he's doing. Well, he's at seven, floater. yeah, it don't he's matter. A just, yeah. yeah, just get out there. He doesn't, he has so much power, but he's scared. When I get out in the yard with him, I'm scared to pitch. You know, it's coach pitch. But I, I'm like mm. through, and then I'm like, yeah. yeah. You need to screen. But well, when he's out there, you know, he doesn't. This year was the first year hard. he played flag football, which I was not it's, for we playing football. We dominated that league. I, was, <laughs> I will <laughs> say I'm not for playing football because of the injuries. But Jeff vetoed. I was out on that. And he played, and I know how fast he can be. And so, so if, all the time he would get it and run for a touchdown, and I would be like, Gus, you're not running at full speed. He goes, I don't have to run at full speed. Hey, hey mom. And I was like, well, that's true. So our, our record game was six TDs, two pick sixes. Uh-oh. Which was, I, I, that was they impressive. They throw in the ball? They, and they throw the ball. ball. Oh, yeah, they throw the oh, ball. Really? Not oh, a he's... ton, and they're not good at it. Obviously. So he just plays right in the middle. He's got a middle linebacker. He's a foot taller than them all, too. Tackle so man. they just toss it over yeah, they the just other toss it up, man. He, just, he said, Dad, it's really easy to get interceptions. I just watch the quarterback, and there's just, I catch the ball, and don't let them catch it. I'm like, no, that's yeah, how you do it. Uh, he said, I felt back as this little boy cried and said, I just want to make a touchdown. And I, went, did, I kept pulling his flag. He said, I just kept pulling his flags. I said, you keep pulling yeah. them flags. Uh, keep uh, pulling uh, the flag. Killing boy. kids' dreams. It's one really. At, time. at one point, he was playing offense, and his coach goes, Gus, go sit on the bench. You're making too many touchdowns on on offense. I mean, on defense. You're, you know, that's what it was. He was playing mm. defense. He was like, go sit down. You're, you're getting too many touchdowns on defense. Yeah, you can't. So do I'd like him to play. I mean, depending on his, you know, size or whatever. But like, just play like middle linebacker. As soon as he can play tackle, and just mm -hmm. become a one man wrecking crew. Where it's like when when other opponents play us, they're like, oh my gosh, have you seen that guy in the middle? Yeah. And they're scared. Yeah. Yeah, they're scared I, to get the ball. I yeah. was like too tall Jones in on when Dallas. You keep played, that up, you won't ever have to work a food truck again. He played <laughs> in the middle and somebody run by him, he'd grab him. No, he ain't got the ball. Throw I get away. where people have always said, Oh, these parents live through their kids. I'm kinda doing that with guys, and I'm sorry. I can't help it. 
<laughs> He's so good. I'm well, like, I am. Yeah. I wish I could have. Been well, I will yeah. say right. none of our other kids ever got into sports. It's so. easier no. when the kid's good. Not like yeah, fully like, right. when there's like potential there. Yeah. And he's big, you know. Yeah, the bomber was one like me and Jace would coach, and the kid wouldn't be that good, but they were still trying to live through him. I'm like, nah, man, just let yeah. this kid play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I wasn't that kind yeah. of parent. I was yeah. like, that, this isn't your thing, baby. Just, just no. let that kid uh-uh. play, man. Well, I told River. I mean, I love River, and you know, he plays some soccer, and he's pretty good soccer actually. But I was like, dude, just play golf. And he's playing golf, and he loves it, and he's it's getting great. a lot better. And I'm like, dude, yeah. now you're playing yeah, something. You can play game. your whole life. Yeah, that is yeah. your game. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah, because he ain't going to be very tall. No. No. Yeah. No, the only short. chance y'all got for height is Gus, and that's because right. he adopted. So yeah. I got him watching Rory McIlroy. <laughs> and I'm we like, know nothing about his birth parents. So yeah. I don't know. Rory McIlroy is 5'8 and weighs like 165 pounds yeah. and hits it further than anybody. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be a certain size. Yeah. Justin Thomas, smaller than that. Same size. Yeah. Or smaller. Yeah. yeah, no. Technique. That's, yeah. That's it. Leverage. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it's still hoping that I, Gus will find a sport that is not as dangerous. As football? Yes. Well, it's Football's not dangerous not when dangerous. you're bigger than everybody. Yeah. It's scary. As long as you're the biggest on the field, <laughs> it's right. not dangerous at all. Right. Trust He's me. He's not going to be that big. I, well, you keep big saying now. that. He's real big now. Just get started now. Right. That Hey, a fo- that football is the best he can play. You know why? Very limited time window. Yeah. August to December, you're done. You're yeah. in, you're out. Yeah. Unlike baseball now that's played 12 months out of the year. Yeah. Forget that. You don't want to play in baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he no. likes basketball, much, and I enjoy time. watching him too play. So we haven't tried that yeah. one yet. So Basketball? Yeah. We'll we haven't see. tried You're that. You're going to have to hire a coach. Yeah. I got one. Crystal Lewis. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Sarge. Because yeah, ain't none of this extended family know nothing about basketball. Uh, Willie thinks he does, but he ain't no good. Yeah. I'm I mean, he may get higher stone yeah. from when he's a PE coach. No, hey, no, he could no, shoot a little. Yeah. Yeah, he could shoot a little. No, he'll oh. get him in jujitsu or whatever he does. No. Oh. Yeah, that probably oh, he's, he's been our, begging uh, uh, to get him. Which I also think no. would be good. She doesn't think that's good. I'm not idea. doing it. I'm Why not? not? I think that'd be cool. Sage no, no. does jujitsu. He could be the next uh, uh, What's that dude's hey, name? That Bones, would be something Jones. good to All know. Yeah. That would be something good to know. Yeah. Yeah. I guarantee okay. you'd make him better at football. Yeah. Probably. Oh, yeah. 100% it would. No, no. It teaches him some discipline because it don't matter how big you are on that jujitsu mat. No. Them big ones get choked out just oh, like no, the little no. ones do. That's right. <laughs> that, that's all about technique. Yeah. yeah. Teach okay. him a little discipline. Yeah. Like, I think mentally you got to be pretty tough in that mm-hmm. game. Yeah, that'd be well, a good one. I, I would recommend it. Yeah. I, I don't. That's why it's good for, for kids, especially. Okay. Hey, this day and age, Joe, he can play like fishing in high school. That's kind of tight. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. West Monroe yeah. got a bass team. Yeah. Yeah. I know there's gaming. Like you can get scholarships for like Rocket League and like you can go to college for like games now. No, no. That's like a thing. What about disc yeah. golf? Yeah, I'm against that, that. that. No, I don't think disc golf is a thing yet, which is well, something I do play. I do enjoy now. <laughs> oh, Gus is good at disc <laughs> golf. Oh, he's super good. Of course he is. It, he, he, long, he, long and, he long and lanky. He, yeah. He got them long arms. I bet he yeah. can whoop it for a seven The year ones old. that are good are real, have long arms because they're like, they would be good at pitching in baseball mm-hmm. yeah. and they can throw a disc 600 feet which is i don't know how they do that it's crazy yeah that's a lot two football fields he threw yeah. a frisbee just think about the physics of that it doesn't make sense yeah. no that's like flying fish <laughs> no no what? That's, that's the craziest thing to watch is flying okay, fish. i don't see that analogy no no no, no look because they sail for like 600 800 yards they will look, do that. And they do this out of a two foot wave. They come out of a two foot wave and you go and you go. go. <laughs> and you're still going and you go. When is he going to go back in the water? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to believe we're almost to the first quarter of 2023. Eh? Good grief. It's gone by so fast. I mean, it's unbelievable. We and need more time. Look, well, you. The way to get more time? How? Don't go to the post office. That's right. Just do go. it all from That's the right. comfort of your office, your computer, on your time with our friends at Stamps.com. Amen. That's, right. That's how you do it. They even send you a scale. You weigh it. You measure it. You type it in. They tell you the price. They tell you a different price. If it's better, you click it. You print it. You wait. And then they come pick it up. And you're done. 
It's just that simple. That simple. And you know what you just saved? A bunch of time. A bunch of time. You know what time, time is? Money. There you go. And they save you money because they tell you their best price. UPS, USPS, whatever it is, they're going to make a deal for you. I did stamps.com this morning, put some boxes uh, in the box, and the mail person's going to come, pick them up. I don't got to go outside. I guarantee you. Look, for 25 years, stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. And with postage rates increasing again, Stamps.com's a no-brainer. They got the best discounts in the industry. Plus, Stamps.com automatically tells you your cheapest and fastest shipping option. You can get up to 84% off of USPS or UPS rates. If you sell products online, Stamps.com seamlessly connects with every major marketplace and shopping cart like Etsy and eBay. Use Stamps.com to print postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer and a printer. They even send you a free scale so that you have everything you need to get started. If you need a package pickup, like Johnny D said... Schedule it. They come get it from you. You you ain't got to go back there. Mm -hmm. You never have to go to the post office again. What a relief. Ain't that something. Look, set your business up for success when you get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code DUCK for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code DUCK. Since y'all are here, I want to give one of you a chance to confess or yeah. or defend or or I don't really yeah, know how you'd I, say I, this, but Cy told a story on one of y'all. He couldn't right. remember who it was, right. but it was y'all him. were y'all were riding in a black limousine in New York City. It was him. Huh? <laughs> I don't Whoa. know. I don't know what the story the is. It was him. The incident. The incident. I, I do remember this. Yeah. We I were, don't remember. Yeah, we were there to see Sadie. We were uh when she was doing yeah. Dancing with the Stars. Dancing with the Stars. Do you remember that? Remember when we yeah. got in that? Um, and we were I don't driving. Know if it was a limo, but it we was a. We were driving in one of them big long. Oh, like a black, car service. It was a car service. Car. service. I remember yeah. that. And somebody broke wind. Oh, that yeah. was not me. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? She Jeff. did it. She did. Martin, I think y'all That know. was you. It was not remember me. Remember the, the driver got all mad and he's like, no. No, and it was no. somebody else. Maybe do not, a do kid that was here. With us. And we were like, whoa. I, no. I Jessica, know. Jessica, I hate to tell you. These two are telling the hey, exact same no, no, story no, 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 at totally no. different times. Hey, so. yes, I, hey, let me tell you, they're a lot alike. I wouldn't believe half of what they said. No, no, no. I remember this. Now, I had blamed him because he had a bowel me. problem. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he had a bowel problem. I have no problem but, admitting hey, when I fart. Okay. Because then that everybody kind of got to look around. I will around. admit it. Here's, I remember now because everybody got to look down and. And they was all looking at each other and doing this and said, hey. all right, which one of y'all well, here's, busted that? It wasn't me. Here's the kicker. She, was, she had that silly little grin on her face. He <laughs> said that when you got out of the car, you oh, may yeah. or may not have raised your oh, leg yeah. and did another one. Oh, oh no. that was her. Oh, no. She did it. Oh, no. She did it. She said yeah. bye, because look, you got to understand Yeah, something. she said bye, all right. Yeah, this yep. guy, this guy got... Been out of shape. He went. No, he said if he you did. do it again, of you're getting out of the car. No, no, he yeah. said like, I he will mad. stop. He stamped on the brake. I break. was like, what? <clears throat> Y'all, cause hey, and look, when we got up to where <laughs> we was going, <laughs> Jessica was sitting in the front seat. Don't and, blame hey, me for it. Oh no, <laughs> and hey, when she, she was slid to get out, she don't want to leave. Somewhere. Oh yeah, and At slid first out. I, lit, I lifted my leg. Now I just leaned over. <laughs> hey, I she just said you. Slip. She said <laughs> her exact <laughs> words were, "You mad, bro?" And then was like, "That's right, that's right." Oh, Here, take this. Let him have it. I take blamed it on the parting gift. I blamed it on the Sonic chili cheese tater tot you had it. before the, on the way to the airport. That's what I blamed it on. I Got do her. love because I know your tots. addiction. I do love them. Yes, I just had them with <laughs> no, yeah, on happens. a road trip. Another that, road trip. That really happened. So. I usually like, that's Jeff my go-to. That the corn for dog. It. <laughs> Jeff got blamed for it, but then we got to look around. Mm -mm. Yeah, and, and it was little, Jessica. And the little blonde had a sneaky little. I think it's because I'm the only girl in here. You're just blaming me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not blaming anybody, no. but I will and say they told the exact same story. Hey. I will, so, Martin, if you know Jeff at all, he farts. <laughs> All the time. It's oh, I'm aware. He has stomach issues. I'm aware. IBM, everything else. Just when like Cy his mama. started telling the story, I said, let me guess, Jeff. And he said, no, Jessica. No. He Jeff, Jeff got blamed for it. Cy? I remember the look on your face. You had that silly little grin. You, you started when you said... I didn't do it. I, didn't. I was laughing my head off. Like, I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> and then the matter he got, it, was, it made it more funny. Oh, no. The whole family. That's what made him mad. Everybody and laughing. And look, Everyone yeah. was laughing. Hey, look, we were laughing. You talking about this was worse than any rotten egg you've ever <laughs> smelt. 
Okay. Then it I, didn't mean, I don't come blame the guy. Oh, yeah. no. Was, no, no, no. You've got to pick up other people. Oh, no. It yeah, was, this one was not raunchy. Yeah. So, uh, kind of like the smell in the Seinfeld episode. There is nothing episode. that has yeah. ever come yeah. out yeah. of me that smelled raunchy. Okay. Uh, now, come uh, on. Uh, now. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many. <laughs> Look at that smile. Not a bad smile. This, <laughs> hey, oh, this is only a 50 minute show, so we can't go through all of them. But, uh, I, mean, I love you, though. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but it's there. Uh, <laughs> we have a pirate toilet back there in the back, and there's times when it's hard to walk past it. I'll put it there. Really? Way. Oh, yeah, really. Oh. Here we go. That's right. the person who poops three times before 10 o'clock every morning. Oh, oh, yeah, that's very, fine. Very normal. Yeah, that is not can't. normal. No, it's regular. It's I don't know regular. that I'd, I don't know that I'd qualify it as normal, but <laughs> if it, if you can set your watch by a day, that's not a bad thing. It's not thing. normal. Ask Jace how many times they had to like stop on the road while they're on their treasure hunting. Emergency stop. They don't give me enough time in the morning to get everything out. That's, that's not that's my fault. Morning, hey. Hey, I'm the same way. I wake up an hour early so I can get that done at home. Like, I'll try. I like home field advantage. <laughs> I will yes. go other places, but I prefer home field advantage. Man, I'm going to tell know? you, there's hotels across America because I've been staying a lot of them. I mean, this toilet paper deal, it's yeah. like you walk, you either wipe till there's nothing there or you start bleeding one and then sure. you know you're finished. I, I'm just telling you, it's a problem and it's sandpaper and it needs to stop. And yeah, I don't know who's. Is. They stock need to in buy, these hotels, but, yeah. but they need yeah. to be horse whipped. Yeah. I yeah. need That's to cry. I yeah. need to introduce you to my friends over at Dude Wipes. <laughs> Is that and a you thing? Just carry, you just carry them in your pocket with you. Is call that a good. thing? Yeah, they single use baby wipes. Well, please essentially. give me that I, I single put baby use. wipes in your bag. Why don't you use them? There you go. Oh, I don't know. I can't find them. I don't have enough time to find them. I'm <laughs> just in a bind. <laughs> He's in a bind always. <laughs> these daggone hotels are killing me. Uh, I'm you. Got that John Wayne toilet paper. Ooh, I'm telling you. Rough, tough, and won't take crap off nobody. True grit, true yeah. grit, boys. There you go. I Can we it. talk about something other than poop and <laughs> okay, farting? Sorry. Well, Please. I mean, it's my anybody. life. That, it's my I, life. We can, but it wouldn't be near as entertaining. <laughs> um, but we can take a break, and let's do that, and we'll be back right after this. Oh man, does your neck hurt? You know what? I st- chicken squat. I didn't have a great night last night. uh Oh. Because my pillow became Carter's pillow or something, and I couldn't find it. The boy done stole your pillow? Uh-oh. I looked everywhere. Uh-oh. Ended up with some, uh, I don't know what it was, but it wasn't my pillow. <laughs> it wasn't your pillow. It was somebody, I don't know what it was. Because yeah. Carter got to looking and said, oh, 2.0? That's mine. That's it. Yeah, Take I think that. it's in his bed or something, but I'm I, tonight there will be a reckoning, and I will have my pillow. Look, that is my pillow 2.0 back. Look, Mike Lindell, my pillow guy, you getting fans of all ages. Carter stealing his dad's pillow. The my pillow 2.0 <laughs> just snatched that up. You know what? I bet you know why I took it. This said made in the USA. Made in the USA. And that man's going to be a president. So, <laughs> hey, I mean, you got to start boy. somewhere. Hey, that's right. Got to start it on. <laughs> I mean, I'm just telling you right now. Look, the new MyPillow 2.0 has brand new temperature regulating technology that keeps you comfortable throughout the night. The all-new fabric technology helps you regulate your body temperature through the night by creating a lower surface temperature for a more restful night's sleep. Look, and since it's a fiber and not just a finish, it ain't going nowhere. It's going to be there for the life of the fabric. You're good to go. Look, the MyPillow 2.0 has a knife edge seam. No gusset is available in four loft levels. Look, and the good news is Carter's got it, and you can wash it and dry it. So even if your kid drools on it or whatever. He's a drooler. Yeah, he is a drooler. So you can just throw it in the washing machine. Big drool guy. Uh, You can throw it in the washing machine, then you can dry it, and you're ready to go. Boom. And if you need more reason to get it, it's a 10-year warranty, 60-day money-back guarantee. You're not going to need them, but it's nice to know that they're there. The My Pillow 2.0, you knew it was going to be good because we know how good the slippers were. I wore them mm. this morning, taking my kids sheets. to school. The sheets. And the hand. 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 The Size favorite. And the towel. Look, <laughs> they dry you like they no dry other. you they, all. You know what? They have got plenty of soft towel left for more. It's only like lunchtime, and I've used all four of those things <laughs> today. <laughs> hey. On this day, I've used them all. Better. I've worn the slippers. I've used the towel. Well, you took your pillow back. stole my pillow. But you took it back. I'm going to get it back tonight. He's going to yeah. get it back. There you go. Look, and my pillow is actually having a massive closeout sale right now on all season slippers while supplies last. Johnny D, Mother's Day's around the corner. Get Alice Ooh, another pair of slippers. There you go. All you have to do is go to mypillow.com slash duck to get the all new MyPillow 2.0, the slippers, and all the MyPillow products. Right now, get the all new MyPillow 2.0 and you get the second one absolutely free when you use promo code duck. Again, just go to mypillow.com slash 
Duck. And use promo code Duck for a buy one, get one on the MyPillow 2.0 and a huge closeout on slippers or call 800-969-3137 and use promo code Duck. Order now. Hey, because when they're gone, hey, got- don't worry about it. They're going to have more. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're gone. <laughs> So look, Jeff, y'all been on the road. You leave the old man at home filming Duck Family Treasure. What uh, what's life been like on the road again? What? Um, it's been interesting. We just got back from Virginia, which was awesome. Uh, we found a lot of cool stuff. Like I wish mm-hmm. I could tell y'all, but you have to watch and see. Watch it was, show. It was really good. The one before that, we were in uh, actually like the first town ever in Texas. It was called San Felipe, which is now where Katy, Texas is. Oh, Ricefield. So we get down there, and a lot of times we'll get down, you know, day early, and we go out and scout. You know, we go out and kind of just look the area over, get our detectors out, kind of see what. So treat it like a real hunt. You go scout, and then you go hunt. That's right. Yeah, That's exactly right. We get out there. I get 10 minutes into it, and I'm like, I do not feel good. And I don't know, I don't know when the last time y'all been really sick is, but it was one of those deals where I knew for a fact I'm pissing to go down. Like like something bad is happening yeah. to my body, and I don't know what. I just I'm really tired. I just feel like crap. Everything hurts. So I'm like, hey, and this guy was really cool, and I was like, man, we get back. I tell the crew they give me some c word tests. So I get back, take those tests, negative. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I start running fever. Jace comes in later and it's like, uh, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. He never, he goes in another room, yeah. never comes in. I'm surprised near he me. didn't yeah. leave town. He's a yeah. 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 Oh yeah. So they try to film that next day, but I'm still down. And then it's kind of like, oh, we're just, I mean, yeah, I'm not is, there. So obviously yeah. the show's going to be crap because I wasn't there. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I told him, I was like, y'all go ahead. It's yeah. fine. I, I mean, I'm sorry. I can't really help. I'm not feeling good. So then they're just like, oh, no, we're just going to pack it up the next day. Well, then it's like, how am I going to get Jay's like, he he ain't riding with me. He rode me here. I can't can't afford to be sick. I got too much to do. Yeah, I got too much golf to play. So I was abandoned by Jace. (laughs) Then I talked to the producer, and she's like, look, we just, you know, everybody on the crew, we just can't get anybody sick. You know, it's just not a good time right now. And I'm like, what? So what do I do? Yeah, so you're being abandoned. I, uh, totally abandoned. And they're like, <laughs> well, we left you the keys of this minivan. Good luck. It's sitting out and front. You, and check out as this time. Be out. And yeah, check like, out as this time. You got to be out like here. symptoms. Fever. Throwing so I wake up. They gave him a I, vehicle. I, I, yeah, I'm scared. From, I'm like running home. fever. <laughs> I'm scared to, for my, like, my stomach. I'm telling y'all, when I say upset, I get it. I've had a bad stomach. Where are my life. friends when oh, I need they're them? they're gone. They're yeah. gone. So I get to go in about 30 <laughs> minutes into this journey, which is, you know, on the other side of Houston. This is like west of Houston. So it's uh-huh. like a trek. It's like seven hours at least. Yeah, you're talking about an eight hour drive. Yeah, yeah, at least seven, seven and a half hours. And you feel like crap. 30 in minutes with. into it. I'm on the outskirts of Houston here. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh no. I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> I have the heat on, but I'm sweating. Oh, I've been and there. I'm just like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And I pull up to this gas station. Weirdly enough, there was a guy out there like panhandling. He said, you got any money? And I like, I looked at this guy and I think he knew like he was like he looked down like this no, is the wrong guy. It, it, it ain't worth it. No, it ain't worth it. No, I look terrible. <laughs> I'm like, oh terrible. Oh, I go in that bathroom, it's terrible. I'm in there just like praying. I'm praying. I mean, I'm serious. It was like a I was scared. This is a life. nightmare. This ain't nightmare. Oh, yeah. This is hell yeah. on earth. Yeah. Will I make it home? And I mean, I had to stop <laughs> another time. I just pulled off on the side of the road. I'm just like, please, Lord, help me get home. I eventually made it home. It took longer than expected, but in a uh, minivan. And I still to this day, I had my throat was just like crazy hurting bad. I think I had strep throat, is what I think. Uh, it's the only thing I can kind of think of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I was sick. I thought he and had then a flu, then he came in. Days and, which I told him to stay. I was like, just we'll book a hotel. Just stay there. So he comes in and I'm like, Get in the back of the house. You're quarantining yeah, for the next get four away. days. Yeah, Don't cool. get, I yeah. cannot but you, get sick. Yeah. You know how you're when you're really sick. I just want to get home. I just want. I was like, I just want yeah. to get yeah. home, and then I know I got Jess, and like, 
I'd have had some comforts to yeah. like where yeah. I can lay and just yeah. watch TV or whatever. You could get your leopard blanket. Yeah. That's, That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Leopard blanket. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got you. But it was miserable. I mean, it was so miserable. Yeah. But, so we're, we're going back Ooh. to film that episode, uh, I think, next week. So. You're probably like the rest of well, us I'm males. I'm scared to go back. You're but. probably like the rest of us males anyway. You're just a terrible patient when you do get sick. Uh, so. uh, it was bad. <laughs> the worst. I haven't been that sick in a long time. The worst. Like, like yeah, really well, running You told me one stuff. thing that I needed to know. Don't ever go out with them clowns. Yeah. What, they'll abandon you? you? Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you needed sick. somebody to yeah. tell you Jace would abandon well, you when I, you're I, sick? No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey. You I, ain't I, put those pieces well, of the puzzle yeah, together I yet? I never had Like, no, Jace no. will leave you in a heartbeat. Jace Good. about self-preservation when it comes yeah. to sickness. He's like, no, I'm out, bro. Like, yeah. you know. I'll yeah. get you home, but you ain't going with me. Uh -huh. like, uh, <laughs> like, I'll leave you a key. You can ride and, in the back of yeah, the truck. <laughs> you, but you ain't getting up in here. Get comfortable. Yeah, that's just the way he is. But aside from that, you're still doing your nonprofit work, right? I mean, Absolutely. that's still what's going on. We've actually got our gala coming up this weekend. This weekend. Um, is it a gala or a gala? I say gala. Oh. Gala. gala. <laughs> hey, just gala. It's know. always fun. Uh, but we're, yeah, kind of new in the works. We're, uh, we got this thing I'm working hard on. It's called Cycle Breakers. Um, cause basically what happens over there in all these countries is, man, it's just a terrible cycle is how these orphans end up where they're at. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to break it. And kind of the main reason we're, the, how we're doing that is like getting these kids, they've never had help here. Mm hmm. You know, you can give them, and we definitely do give them money to eat and uh, for school Mentally. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But like to get them therapy, basic, basic necessities. Well, yeah. just therapy. They need to get over this trauma. They've all yeah. experienced terrible yeah. trauma, and it's like we're trying to get these kids fixed up here and sp here yeah, spiritually. spiritually. Yeah. Um, so, so we're trying to break cycle. the cycle. So you know, I'm I'm imploring your audience. Twenty four dollars yeah. a month is kind of how you get in on that. Yeah. You can give more if you want to, yeah. but. Uh, but it's awesome. We're definitely seeing these kids like transformed lives yeah. where they just had no hope and now they're doing great. They're doing amazing. good at school and so college degrees, yep. able to get jobs, yep. and sh like breaking the cycle for and their legacy. They're they I mean, how amazing is that? Like they're not carrying that baggage over. They're able to let it go and move on and and be human beings in the world and work and raise a family and it's pretty inspirational. Yep. We're sitting from little kids all the way through mm -hmm. college. Um, these kids are, it's awesome. That's cool. But I finally found something that I really love to do, and I couldn't see myself doing anything. Like, it's it's my full-time job. The show stuff is fun and cool, yeah, and I awesome. enjoy doing it, but my work with All Guys Children is awesome. I really enjoy that. So. so you don't want to come back here and edit videos and film yeah. duck season for 60 straight <laughs> yeah. days. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't trying to sit up there on a yeah. scaffold and freeze all season yeah. anymore. Right. Them, day, them yeah. days are behind I'll you. I put my time in. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. And run, that and running a food truck. I don't know if he'd ever go back oh to it. Oh my gosh. That's the hardest thing I've ever so done. So you went from the cold, you've had two jobs where you were arguably probably the coldest you've ever been in your life and the hottest you've That's ever exactly been. Yes. Exactly. And the silver bullet in a, in a, yeah, in an air Stream, in an airstream in, in austin in Texas. austin in july like, like gimber yeah. has gimber ever been on the podcast no no nah. you should have him he's an interesting he's fellow it's my cousin who, yeah. he came and helped me do that yeah. and i just remember us sweating we're making a sandwich we wouldn't get in the sweat on the food no. so that was no. good yeah. uh, but a little we, extra salt we had never towels hurt nobody. all over us but uh but i just remember us looking at each other and he was like dude this is the hardest thing I've ever done. I was like, me too. Yes. Well, Gimber come back from Austin, Texas, and shed 150 pounds or I something. Know. I mean, he's the oh, incredible yeah. shrinking yeah. man now. Yeah. yeah, I think that made him take a little uh, life little change. ownership in his yeah. life and say, you know what? It's too short, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, it ain't about this. But yeah, so you 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 have worked a gamut of jobs. That's that's right. kind of you're a jack of all trades, and now it sounds like you're going to be a football coach for all of a sudden. So I can <laughs> appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, we'll see. got that going. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Mom, just hey, let it happen. We'll it's fine. Like, how cool would it be to watch Gus on Sundays? I mean, that's pretty tight. That'd be awesome. <laughs> like, I mean, hopefully, go somebody that's good, but you know, the good ones rarely do. They have to work for a while before they get to a good team. He's in kindergarten. Let's not jump the gun here. <laughs> hey, a man can I'm dream. Like... <laughs> a man can dream. Like, let the man dream. Okay. Jeff wants to. Jeff wants to be in Baton Rouge cheering on as they beat no. Alabama. I mean, that's no. cool. Like, yeah. what are you saying no and for? You ain't a tiger. I'm just saying. Oh, 
We're not. I mean, we'll, well, let's just let's just move on from this, okay? <laughs> you know. Let the man have a son. You took okay. River from him. Let him have Gus. What like. about tennis? What about basketball? What about something other than full on tackle? At some point, he'll know what he's good at. I was like, play, can so they not make fun. flag football a professional sport? They have all this other sports. Really? No. Huh. He'll learn to get his head out of the way. Trust they're making me. it a lot safer. They're yeah. doing, they're yeah, doing stuff. That's it's, getting better. it's getting better. Yeah. It's getting way better we'll than it was. Way better than when I played it. They yeah. actually have pads now. Like some of our stuff was even, them little thin pads they put in a helmet back in the day just oh. kept you from wearing the logo of the helmet on top of your head. Now <laughs> it's actually cushioned in there. So that's a good thing. But let's take our last break. We're going to get to some questions from some fans for you guys in our last segment. We'll be back right after this. The fans have submitted questions via okay. Instagram for you guys. I, I like this one. I don't know how to say their name, but they'll know that they do. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. If you both could dye your hair slash beard to match each other, what color would it be? Jeff, would you go blonde or? No, I'd probably go. I would be <laughs> brunette or redhead. I did dye. I did bleach my hair. Uh, I was in it was yellow. It was college like yellow. Age. I was the worst human. I was strung out on drugs and stuff. It was a bad, mm. super bad time in my life. So I would never want to do that again because it would bring up bad memories uh, <laughs> of just not living a Christian life. So you had the M and M look going. I did back in the day. I Liter literally, I have yeah. pictures to prove it. I'll send uh, it to you. Uh, so I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, yeah. Jessica, one time, I liked her hair. She did it like red. I had like a reddish. I, I thought it was. Just I remember that sexy, and I, enjoyed I like that's it. when she was into like the old timey pictures too. I liked it. Yeah. Like I, she was, she was into dressing y'all up like y'all were from the thirties and stuff. I, I wouldn't was, mind going red. I because I, I, I like the say, Viking. I was trying to picture that in my mind. Both of you red. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so red. I think it'd be cool. I like red. They yeah. look the world. A uh, red's not a normal color. Yeah. Most no. people avoid it like the plague, except for Sai. He married it. So <laughs> and uh, she has beautiful hair. Uh, she does. Is. She has lot amazing. A lot of meanness to go with. It. <laughs> <laughs> she lives up to the height. <laughs> Uh, all right, here Matt says, do you guys have any tips for young parents wanting to adopt? Agencies, oh. foreign, domestic, That's, any? Hey, allgodschildren.org. Yeah, we do, do international adoption. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, bought, we Gus was domestic, so we, yeah. we know people we in that agent, area yeah. as well. Uh, um, um, but yeah, it's awesome. You know, it's one of those deals where it's like, um, you know, and everybody says it. I feel like we've talked to who's been through it. It's kind of like even I had doubts when we were going through it. Like, you know, I just don't know if I love this child as much as I love my kids. What? But, you know, or, I think I people never, have well, doubts. Or no, even no, men it, have doubts. It's a normal thing. No, I'm saying. I'm yeah. just. I'm. I'm saying yeah. like that's not a bad thing. Hey, I mean, like, hey, honesty is great. Sure. Yeah. Honest, yeah. Honesty is great. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah, we took Gus home. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Like it was immediate. Like it's. It's one of those things where it's almost even more like I will do oh, anything you're talking about for before this. we adopt. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was like, we've never questioned if we adopt. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, no. He's saying through no, the process. I got you the process. The process. No, I'm yeah. saying, and then once you have him, it's even yes. more so like I would do anything yeah. for this kid because it's like, I, it's, it's I will, different. It yeah, it's different. a different thing, but no, no. awesome. And it feels more spiritual in a way because mm -hmm. it's like we know that God adopted us and it's like, yeah. It's a cool, weird, yeah. awesome thing no, to no. do, and I would highly yeah. recommend it. If uh, I'll give you a stat here, because I'm in that area, if every evangelical church in America, one family in that church adopted, there'd be no more foster care. Done, Done. over. So everybody should adopt because we just don't need one any family more in each church. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. But I remember, like, because uh, I went, I went and held him for the first time, and they snuck me in because it was a closed adoption. And but I was like, OK, it, it, like literally we got the call the day before this baby just fell out of the air, literally. <laughs> and she uh, said, you know, she had no prenatal care. She had she just delivered a baby. And here he is. And it you're, you're up next, basically. If you don't want to, I have a list of families waiting. So I went and I was like, I just need to hold him. I thought there would be this like divine intervention from God. Like I, I'm going to hold this baby and I'm just going to feel I'm your mom. But I went up there and I'm, I remember being, having a friend there and I was, I mean, we're crying over this baby. I'm holding him, I'm feeding him, I'm changing him. And I was like, I, I just, I can't make this decision by myself, you know. And, um, and Jeff came in. I said, you've got to come up here because 
realistically, I could you could have handed me any baby in that nursery, and I would have loved him like my own. Mm-hmm. I would I would love any baby like my own. And um, and he came in. He looked at me. and Goes, yep, that's him. We'll take him. And I was like, just like <laughs> that. Remember, well, my exact words were like, well, he ain't much of a looker because he kind of had a tra- well, he you know, must face have was like a, little, a traumatic birth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So his face was a little bent out of shape, yeah. a little bit. Well, uh, but I thought we had oh, all C sections, so you know, there you go. But I we saw had him no, laying there. He's laying there like this, like you know, he was this big old and thought, boy. Yeah, and, and I thought, yeah, I like this. But kid. that's what it took. I was like, okay. I was like, well, he had no. I was like, what if something happened? Like, go wrong what if something comes up later on that he has all this trauma and all this and he goes we'll deal with it and I was like that's all I need to know I'm not making this decision on my own and you're the man of the house and you're leading our family and he is our son and we took him home the next day it was just so that's actually pretty cool and I like I like him when he said okay because it's a big step it is it is yeah and he he was being honest with well I I, you know Mm -hmm. and that's just honesty talking Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, I'm saying it's a I it's, say it's it a scary. It could be kind of scary. No, you don't no. know what you're getting it into. It made both of you better yeah. parents. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Let's move on to another question. I don't. I mean, there's some serious ones in here. I don't know. Well, y'all want to go, go serious or y'all want to laugh? The baby a dropped bit. out of nowhere. No, he didn't. God. That's God, exactly yeah. right. God. God's yeah. hand was yeah. in this all the way. Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah. Why the name Gus? That's not on yeah. here, but I, I like the story and I know it. So, so I always wanted <laughs> his name, name is Jules Augustus. I always wanted I to name a son Augustus, and I wanted to. Uh, Augustus McRae, Lonesome Dove. Oh, I yep. thought you were talking yep. about Caesar. Yep. No, oh. so. no, <laughs> Lonesome Dove, buddy. My favorite miniseries of all time. Yeah. I mean, just one of my oh. favorite things to watch yeah. ever. And um, and his first name is after And you. so Jess wouldn't do it with River. I forgot why, but she let me do it with Gus. So. There you go. I let him love do it. it. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, it grew favorite. Jess, this will be a good one for you. Favorite bluebell ice cream flavor? You're the snacker of the family. You, you so, like a good late night snack. I'm a vanilla girl. Just plain like vanilla. vanilla. Okay. Yeah. All right. I do. So does River. He's a vanilla boy. I don't eat ice cream. I eat chips instead of ice cream. <laughs> I like salty. Uh, <laughs> salty black, is black my walnut. preferred. Black snack. walnut is uh, oh. obviously. Yep. I can tell you right now, Brittany's the mint chocolate yeah. chip uh, gang. Yeah. 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 Right. Butter pecans, good. Yeah. I like pecans. Mint, yeah. Butter pecans, good. That's good. Yeah. I'm I'm closer to Jessica. Anytime you get away from vanilla, you're really playing yeah. with danger there. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a good stable. Yeah. Hey, the good yeah. news oh, is Lainey says y'all haven't aged at all and still look the sh- same from the show. So oh, that's, that's nice. nice. Uh, that's I, that's nice. A good, I feel like I look a, good a lot comment. older. But, yeah. Uh, we get, need to do some just. I mean, we're getting <laughs> no. You don't let it go, man. <laughs> right. Don't don't really color great. don't color that. Stuff. I haven't. Uh, Jace doesn't properly dye his, so he's got a little streak right in the middle. Jack, you can Jace see may not want you to share that well, with the audience. Sorry, the well. bag's out, buddy. <laughs> he's 10 years older than me. He got gray hair. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. funny. Do you think he has Missy die for him, or you think he does it himself? I think he does it probably. himself because it's not well done. Do you think he goes like to his little guest house bathroom to do it so nobody probably. sees him do it? Like, <laughs> see, no, see yep. slide out. In, in secret. He never admits to it, <laughs> yeah, even when secret. I pick out the flaws. He's never like, gonna, oh, yeah, I got he's you. He's never going to admit it. He brings like a black garbage bag and like throws it in there, ties it up real tight. Oh, Lord have mercy. He's going to kill us. Do y'all have any celebrity crushes? So. Uh, I mean, honestly, I do. There's Uh-oh. one man, if I could live up to him, I love everything he does. Not where I, I thought this was going, but it's okay. It's a man. Me it's neither, a man. I have okay. a crush on a man. All right. And what he is, is a man. He is a man, a man, man. in the in a, a world of boys. Okay. And his name is Tom Selleck. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm a huge Tom Selleck fan. Really? My mom was always a fan. Yeah. And I never knew why. And then I just started watching his movies and stuff. And I'm like, uh, Jesse Stone. Uh, I was like, no, dude, no. this dude is a man. No, no. There's another one that runs wet rim, Sam Elliott. Oh, yeah. Same type. Uh, I would say, if yeah. you're going back on that, I would say Robert Redford and, Redford for the, and that era. But Tom Selleck, there's Tom a lot Selleck. of older men that are just like classic. But there's probably one celebrity crush that Jep knows about for me. A little Superman, so Henry Cavill. 
Oh, Thank that you. one. Okay, I get. It. I'm like, <laughs> I get that. One. She's also I'm a like, big Matt Damon fan, which I'm like. I do so, like Matt Damon. I like his acting. But I, I think like, he seems a, like a really sweet, like a genuinely guy. sweet person. I mean, Henry Cavill was like, yeah. I well, get it. I mean, he was Jason Bourne for crying out loud. Yeah. I mean, he's he's even British. Phil likes Matt Damon. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like it. He just, I like, I always look at actors and their home life and everything. And I'm like, oh, like he seems like a good family man, which makes me like him even more. It's not like, um, I mean, obviously he doesn't look like Henry Cavill. But I don't even know who Henry Cavill what, is. Superman? Like Superman. Yeah. The, the no, oh, Superman. my Lord. I'll send you a picture. He's a British <laughs> dude that's about 6'4", 250, solid muscle. Oh, okay. I don't really care about the muscle. His face is really pretty. Yeah. Thoughts very, on, but he, he has very dark hair. With Thoughts on like Ted that. Lasso. Do y'all watch Ted Lasso? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen Hilarious. it. Is the news? He's uh-huh. Oh, I haven't seen it. Yet. Yeah, I watch, it, they're doing it weird. They're doing it one episode at a time. Yeah, so. yeah. I kind of almost want to wait. We usually wait and then just like watch more. Yeah. I watched the first one, but I won't say anything. I'm not going to spoil it. But anyway, thank y'all so much for coming on. Uh, Jeff, I'll let you plug uh, your your guys one more time. The website, if they want to get involved with uh, y'all's foundation and all that. So, it And is, I'll let you send us out of here. It is allgodschildren.org. And just look up Cycle Breakers. And uh, we'd appreciate you guys. and love you guys. And thank you. You guys have always been supportive. So Thank you so much, and we are truly making a difference, so thanks. All right. We'll see you all next time here in the Duck Call Room. We're out.